What's up guys, The Merry Gamer here, and welcome back to another episode of Prison Architect. And I want to start off the episode by mentioning something that you may have realised straight away, it's in that top right hand corner of your screen. The clock looks a tiny, tiny bit different. So, I've actually decided to install a mod. Um, so I was looking at the Steam Workshop um, the other day, because I hadn't actually looked at it to see if um, there was a modding community in the game. And funny enough, there was. There's actually quite a lot of mods, so... Um, I'm actually intrigued by a lot of them, actually. A lot of them really are stuff that should be in the game. So, um, I feel like maybe in the future we might do a series where we might have a few mods involved. But, um, I've decided to add at least one, and that's this time one. So, what it does is it just gives me that extra bit of speed, um, with the, uh, like the fast forwarding and that. Since, um, we are struggling to get time moving fast enough. It doesn't matter if the time in the clock doesn't move fast enough. It's more about the people. They're not moving fast enough because my computer lags a lot because of how big our prison is getting now. Um, so to counteract that, we've just, I've decided to install this just to, um, help with it a tiny bit. So I know I didn't really want to, but at the same time, I kind of wanted to as well because I was like, well, you know, it makes it a bit easier, it makes it a lot easier to get stuff done um, off camera and a bit easier on camera. It didn't actually take them too long to do a few things. So that's uh, also good. So I'll show you the base. So this is the entire prison as its whole. And if um, you got a keen eye, you'd see it, but I can hardly see it myself. There actually is an outside perimeter of all these chain link fences. And then up here, I've got guard towers with snipers and we've got these... Um, uh, road gates. The annoying thing about the road gates is that um, it doesn't open automatically. Um, there was one mod that actually allowed you to put these things on the road that um, opened them automatically, which I liked, so I might install that as well. I might not. At the moment, I'm just leaving them open. Um, so we got them down there, and then as well as that, is that we got a double layer here. So we got that there, but we got four snipers here, and another four snipers over here. So we have a max of 12 snipers, but as you can see, Big prison, so it takes a while to get up that road. Um, but yeah, it's just it's all protected, and this will all link into the other side, which will be our low and medium risk security area on the right side of the prison. So everything to the um, prison has actually gone really, really well. Um, our super max, our second super max, is done. We've actually got a max um, of 103 of them with a max capacity of 160. We can up that to 200 if we have to, if we want to get rid of the 40 death row because. We only have three death row, and I think if I go intake, it's... Oh, we can get one more death row, so... Like, they're, they're very rare death row, so... Um, I wish there was a way you can add people to death row, because really, some of the people that are in death row... Like, I've read their, um... Stuff, and, like, they've committed, like... Two or three murders with a few other little crimes, and I've got people in Supermax um, that have done a shit ton worse. There's people in there that have got like 10 murders on their hands. Um, that really neat. I wish to, I, I know they're kind of finished making the base game and they're pretty much done, um, and that kind of annoys me. I wish they had like a system in place in the game that you couldn't add people to death row, but what would happen is that if a prisoner had committed a number of crimes in prison, then they can be added to death row. That's what it should have been. Um, that's how they should have done it. Unfortunately, that you can't do that. So I want to look around if there is a mod that you can upgrade it so then um, some of these death row people can actually be put on death row because really, um, some of them are <laughs> pretty bad. Like there's, there's a lot of them that have at least five. There's a few in there that have like about eight to 10. I think there's one that might have 12. Um, kills so um but anyway as i said uh last episode what i want to do is focus on the front of the prison so as you can see i've done this here we've got our reception we've got two holding cells we've got our power obviously and then we have exports here and then we're going to have the same on this side and what you probably notice as well is that this area in the center is gone what i decided to do is i put our forestry here because um originally i was just going to make a giant storage um but then i realized i was looking at the buildings and that and i was like well the only building we do not have is a forestry. We used to have it in the center of our yards, um, but now I put them over here because I thought, why the hell not? It's a bit easier um, to have that here, and then we have at least every building done. As well as that, out the front, I've actually started placing a few trees. So this side is actually a bit smaller because this side ramps up because of the um, good old parking lot. But when you go on the other side, you'll see all the trees here, and then all of a sudden we've got this big grid going out this way. What is that? That's a contents stack. 
Oh, that's just an install tree, yes. So then they have all these trees that I want them to install. It's all in like a perfect grid. And then I've stopped at these buildings because I need to do like the pathways and all that sort of stuff. And then we'll continue on these edges. And then I'm not too 100% sure. Next episode, we're going to focus on it. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this outside area. Um, should I just leave it or should I actually decorate it? It might be nice to decorate it. Um... Because then we've done the whole person. I might just literally go grass the whole thing and place trees like in a grid system of how these are. So what I'm doing is I'm waiting for all this to grow and I'll see how it looks. And if I like the way it looks, then I will make a massive like forest um, surrounding our prison. And then in the end, it doesn't really matter. Like this is all waste of space anyway. We won't be using this, I've decided. Because um, really we don't need to expand this prison anymore. Um, then what can happen is that if we ever have a prison escape, which we actually haven't, with the double layer perimeter wall, we have not had a prison escape, which is really fantastic. We haven't even had someone fight their way through. We've gotten people close um, to getting through the entrance when there's been riots in here. Uh, there's been one, I think, where a guy literally got, like, here or some somewhere. Um, but, yeah, it's... Um, it's been pretty good so far. The prison actually has held its ground, which I really like. It's actually has been our perfect prison layout so far. It has been impenetrable to escape. Obviously not with a few other things, but, um, <laughs> you know, we are mixing with Max and Supermax and Death Row. So, um, anyway, what I wanted to do this episode, um, whilst I'm talking everything, so I'll stop talking for a while. We're going to clone all these buildings, uh, or all these rooms, and we're going to copy and paste... And we're going to put them in here because uh, we need to. So I'm going to copy and paste that. And we're just going to do this so then it's all done. So then I don't have to worry about it. And then I know these guys will slowly build it over time. And then we'll have our other um, holding cells. Because when you go deployment, one of these ones are low. One of these ones are medium. The up top, up top side will be the... Um, like the high risk and maybe like super max or death row or something um we'll, we'll see how we go because really you have to go by what you can order in so i guess death row um and soup uh, and max security because you can't order in super max so which is a bit of a shame i wish you actually could order in super max it makes sense that you could order in super max um all right, now that's done. So now I'm going to go in here. Um, can I? I'll just do this. So then what we can do, we'll do that. And then, yeah, we're just going to end up literally copying and pasting all this. So, yeah, we're pretty much close to 100% finishing this side of the prison, which I'm actually actually really excited about, um, because then we actually can finally expand into the next side. Like, we've kind of done that in the past with some other series where we've expanded into making our next area, but I feel like when we've done it, we have not um, finished our area, or at least um, I wasn't 100% satisfied with our area. So, at the moment, I'm really happy with how everything's been set up. I actually should set that into super fast forward. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with how everything's been set up and how everything's been done. Um, I can't really complain, um, at all, really, how this is, uh, planned out for us. So now we're going to copy and paste this side of things. So if I go like this, I can get that side. But yeah, so after we do this episode, we probably will have one or two episodes focusing on the outside, depending on how I want to do it. We might not even have an episode focusing on the outside because it will just be, we'll decide maybe we're not going to touch it. I'm not sure yet, but um, I'm putting in like a bit of leeway just in case we do decide to, because then after that, then we can pretty much focus on our medium and low security building. So now I've been trying to think about how we're going to do our medium and low security building and how we're going to plan it out and that. And I have, I was originally going to make it a bit different to this, um, this build, but I feel like it works really well. So what I might do is I, en I might end up mirroring this main building, um, on the right, on the left, on the right hand side. 
and um, then we will go from there. I have a feeling that's probably the best way to uh, get this planned out how we want it. Now, I still need to do utilities. So, um, yeah, the way the utilities work is I got this to run down the center as well. And this can run all the way up into here. Actually, if I cancel that, because this is going to go this way, and then we're going to do this, so then we can at least... So then we can at least get this room finished, so then I know it's 100% finished, and then we don't have to worry about it anymore. Do that. Now these guys aren't going to get hot water, they're just going to get normal cold water. It is only a holding cell, so I'm not too fussed about the way things are going to be. So yep, yeah, that's how we're going to do all the piping there. And now literally they're just going to build that and hopefully they can finish that in today's episode. So we're actually really close to the 100 day mark. So probably by next episode we'll be at the 100 day mark. Um, depends on what I do off camera because it depends like if I decide that I'm going to do all this grass or all this dirt or whatever and then do trees. Um, I'll probably do a good majority of it off camera because to place whatever terrain I want down, one is going to take a lot of money and a lot of time. And then to individually go and place all the trees in the grid line if we decide to do that again gonna take a lot of time like we might end up starting from like this edge and going from like here to here in an episode and I'll already have the rest of the prison done uh, depending like at best I might change the terrain I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna do the trees um, just because it's outside the prison so there's no point making it look nice um, at best um, if we're gonna change the terrain at all um, we might just end up just doing it all dirt instead of all because the grass makes it look fancy I guess and that's good to see when it's like in a prison um but when it's um outside the prison it's like well it should be just really be dirt who cares um let's have a look at this we still we've got too many people infected i can't control this virus at the moment it's actually starting to ship me um i don't know i every time i um get i can get it down and then it spreads again and i don't know like i know after a prisoner has the virus they can't get it anymore so i've kind of i had i influx my prison capacity really really high um and then obviously lots of riots and killing and all that sort of shit happened um and i think i got my prison up to about oof I think we were about 800 inmates I was at. So normally what I do is I um, like to get money really quickly. So I increase inmates a lot. I just take in every everyone. Um, and then I pretty much end up sorting it through that. I end up getting rid of a lot of my staff. So we get more prisoners for more money and less staff for less wages. So it makes us more better cause with more riots and shit. Um, and then I had a virus outbreak during that time. So um, I had one in between, during last episode, or the episode before, I think, um, when I record, because it has been a little while since I've recorded, in between the last few episodes and this one, um, and that went away, and then shortly after I got another one, which was really annoying, so, uh, I think the virus might be in all, in all, uh, sectors of the prison now, so, it's really annoying, um, Eventually, it'll get on top of, and eventually they'll all go away. Uh, but I feel like I've had these guys um, in my prison for a long time. Um, no. Why can't I tell you? Can I just tell you to go there? And I want these ones to go here. So, actually, if it's better, you tell them to go right in the heat of them. You tell them to go right in the heat of them, and then they hopefully pick up any infected people in that building. But anyway, these guys are slowly building all this for us. So, they've done this room mainly. They still have a lot of the piping and that to do. They still need to place all of that. So, it does take a while to build, but as you can see, like, we've... I started building that not too long ago, 
and they've done at least half of it, and we spent a lot of time talking at the start. So that is a good thing, actually, that um, they are starting to move a bit faster and build a bit quicker. When I do have this on the fast mode, they do seem to build quicker, which is nice, because um, it means that we can get some stuff done, which is great. So, um, as I said, next episode, we're probably going to focus on the outside terrain, maybe try and finalise that idea, and that will either take an episode or two, depending on what we're going to do, if we're just going to do dirt, um, and, or grass, and we don't care, probably most likely dirt, at least, um, then it doesn't really matter, so that'll probably just be one episode, but if, uh, we do want to do the trees and that, then it might be two episodes, I might split that over two, um, but then, um, we need to also focus on this front edge, I still need to buy this bit of land over here, because I want to build this entrance block, pretty much the way you see this prison, how it's laid out from, like, this front bit here, so pretty much from this edge down, I pretty much want this same layout. I pretty much want to go from this building and copy and paste, but these, I'm not sure if I want to do them the same. Um, so, the, like, this will be the same, probably. I don't think I'll need these buildings. We might do those buildings, though. Um, there won't be a point, but you could. Um, and these ones will probably be the same, but I'm not sure how I want to lay out in here. I don't know if we want to follow the same style, because really, in the end, like, there should be a difference in living quality, um, when you think from a low to death row perspective. There should be a variation at the moment. We've got a flat variation, so in the end, what we can do is that we can just keep the same, um, style living through this prison, but then I'm thinking next season, what we'll do is that we're actually going to stick to a different variation of style living. So, you know, the low security guys actually have quite luxurious cells and like there'll be more land dedicated to these guys. They'll live in dormitory sort of styles and same as medium security. But then when you get into max and super max, then you pretty much lose all value of living. So that's kind of how I want to balance it. Like death row, um, don't have any value of living. I don't even have, you don't even get uh, to schedule their time. They spend all their time in a cell um, they do not exit um, that cell or that area. They just only spend their time there um, and they're given their food and that's it. Um, so I would like Supermax to be in a similar scenario with that, but they do get a tiny bit of yard time, which is kind of how I have them set up. They have yard time and then they work still um, because I still need people to do like the laundry and all that sort of shit in this area. Otherwise, I have to buy... Um, staff to do that and hire staff to do that but um as i said yeah we're going to focus on the outside area and then soon we can focus on doing this side of the prison and then eventually we will be done with the season when we get at full max capacity i would like our prison to be over a thousand prisoners so i'm thinking um on the right side there will be 40 um spaces for ci's and i'm actually going to start filling these ci's i'm going to start every time we get intakes i'm going to look at for law, ex law enforcements and snitches. Um, I know there actually was a mod that automatically did that, which was nice. Um, so we might eventually have that maybe next season as well. Because I'm thinking next season, because we've kind of done the same things the past four seasons now. So I'm thinking maybe for the fifth season, it'd be nice to um, spice it up a bit and be going, screw it, let's have a few little mods added here and there to just make the game flow a bit easier and take. Um, less more, um, of the stress of me and trying to fix all this, like, going, like, having to sit through and get fined 60 CIs that I can make and put in protective custodies or whatever, um, that's annoying. So, if we're able to automatically do that without me having to touch it, then that's nice as well. So, we're going to do 40 on that side, so then that will round up our prison up to 700 inmates. Um, then we're probably going to do the same system, um... Maybe not the same, if we end up doing the same style, then our prison's going to fit up to about, well, if it's going to be 40 in here, and then these were like one something each or whatever, like, in the end, if we can make it so we have 200 low security prison prisoners and 200 um, max security, um, medium security prisoners, then it ends up roughly being 1,100 inmates that we're going to have through our entire prison, which actually is a fair size and not too bad. So that's what we're going to roughly aim for. Um, but anyway, I think I waffled on long enough. So I'll see you guys in the next one. So as usual, guys, thank you all for watching. Come have an awesome day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. So see you later, guys.